Hey everybody, Eckers here. Welcome to Dredge, one of my favorite survival games last year. I came across as a limited alpha demo. It's like a week or week weekend long uh, preview of it, and uh, I just found it amazing. Very charming, roguelite, uh, seafaring survival. So let's get into this. The full game has been released on Steam. Be sure to go check it out. Link in the description below. All right, let's get started. Angler wanted. So I have played up to the point where we go to this island, and then that's pretty much where the demo ended. But I did notice when I started to replay through this, there have been some changes to it, so I figured I'd just go ahead and play through it again in case there were major changes that would have, uh, you know, caused you guys some confusion if I just played to that point and, and then tried to continue on from my last two preview episodes. So, kind of started fresh here for you guys. So, uh, let's see uh, let's see what all has changed. All right, the morning light fills your eyes as you try and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a bo boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Morrow. I must say, quite dr quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. So this is the mayor. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, oh, well. I'm glad to see our fisher new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I have a few of the locals. I ha I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Alright. So, let's go undock here. Do the obligatory camera movement. Tutorial stuff. There we go. Let's see if we can catch some good fish here so far I seem to remember this uh, mini game here that seems pretty normal now, if I remember correctly we don't want to overfish this area and completely deplete it because then it won't come back so we're gonna wait until it, the stock gets I might go one more past low we'll experiment here okay we're gonna stop here so it says stock low I'm not going to go anymore because I don't want to completely deplete this area and have it dis disappear completely off of the uh, off the board here. What's this? A floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscure hazards. Okay. This dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Okay, so it's sort of like a safe area for us to hide if we get uh, caught out at night and uh, if memory serves, we're being chased by hallucinations or monsters or a combination of both maybe I don't think we have the right uh, yeah we don't have the right equipment for that because what we're looking for is coastal uh, fishing types take a look here at this tab button here we got here in the cabin pursuit cat fi catch fish for the day mayor asked me to catch as many fish as you can and head back yeah uh, something about fog but a bit dramatic okay so that's uh, our quest log there and our encyclopedia is, yeah, very, very robust. All right, we still have plenty of time. It's uh, only 10 a.m., so let's go check these, see if we can find some that have the hook symbol. There we go. That's what we're looking for. I think these are cod, if I'm not mistaken. What were these, mackerel? Yeah, those are mackerel. Now, when I played the, the preview, there was a sort of an idol or a, uh, like a statue where you could donate fish to it and I think I was using the wrong fish you guys pointed that out but I'd already completed the uh, demo and I made mental note of it to uh, come back and um, when I play through it again like I am now to use the right kind of fish uh, let's do one more see what happens oh we got ourselves a oh it's depleted but we did get ourselves a trophy fish so I don't know if that was worth it or not Unfortunately, we depleted that one. And I... Time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking on other specific tasks. So I can sit here and 
think about things and it's only when I start moving around that the minutes start ticking by. Uh, that's not going to work right there. Let's go over here and check out these fish right here, see what we can find. Yep, that'll work. So, high stock of these. Mackerel again, it looks like. Yep, another blue mackerel. Let's see if we can load up this uh, boat before we have to go back. This one did have a lot of fish. There we go, we're starting to... I think I'll try one more. Okay, now I'm going to stop here. I need to check out whatever's in that little, uh, whatever's in this, uh, floating bottle, it looks like. Oh, yeah, can't do that one. Not the right equipment. Let's check out this floating bottle, see what it says. You just run it over? Nope. Uh, 12th August, 1927, added to the cabin. Let's go check it out. Oh, we got a message here. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon, and our first daily proper, or day proper. Today, we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the black back of Greater Morrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fish are relatively poor in these shallows. So I know I'll... So I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did fancy renaming, a renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took it more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly. Lest you want to, uh, ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain, Ocean Riches. It uh, was a good name. Uh, I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see a basket half-hidden stuffed under a blanket in the, at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Okay. So this is one of 12 for these messages, and I'm assuming that's going to lead us to something somewhere eventually. Okay. What's new here? Let's see what's supposed to be new here. We got cod, we got mackerel, mackerel. Nine of these caught, three of these caught. Um, keep going. Haven't found the squid yet. Can't remember what that is, or if we've even been able to catch that yet um, in the preview. Yeah, we got a lot here. Shallow. So some of these look like they cross over into different areas. Aberrations. So these are like mutations of fish. Sort of like unique versions of whatever. Okay. Let's um, head over here. These look huge. I don't think we're going to be able to catch this with what we have. Nope. Shoot over this way. Starting to get close to nighttime. I want to turn around. This looks like some... Uh, we need a, uh, yeah, we need a, like a fishing net to catch that. All right, let's head on back. We're gonna turn on our lights. Just want to see if we can maybe do one more bit of fishing right here. So that's the house that we ended the demo at, right there. And we'll eventually get there, I'm assuming. Also, a special shout out, team, uh, team 16 for sponsoring. All right, we are doing. There we go. We're sponsoring this uh, gameplay today. Okay. Oh, I think we're out. So let's go ahead and release that one back. Wonder if you catch the last one that says depleted. If you release it back in, if it like changes it from depleted to low again. Check that out. So we got a new uh, fish. That's what that's about there gonna make note of it here arrow squid so all right let's head on back sell our fish off maybe improve our boat a little bit and uh, get some get some rest a little eye at the top means we're starting to get a little uh, creeped out a little freaked out by what's going on um, the supernatural forces around this particular area quite high at nighttime Step onto the dock at Greater Morrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As mentioned earlier, the old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to see what uh, see you to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to own. 
I understand you may not have the necessary funds at hand, so we'll consider it a loan, but I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, you need to sell fish to the local market, paying your debt, paying off your debt, and in turn keeping the population fed satisfied. You understand? Yeah, okay. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Right, let's go sell the fish. So we enter the uh, fishmonger's uh, shack, and it smells like a fishmonger shack. Your new fisherman, eh? Surprised he found his new one so fast. Uh, what happened to the old one? He uh, it takes a certain type of person to last out there. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business, I'll pay you for the fish. Bigger and better, bigger and fresher fit mean uh, more money. Some species are just worth more to me. That's right. There is like a shelf life on your fish, so if you sleep out at... Uh, at sea, or you sleep at a different town or something like that and bring them back the next day, the fish aren't as fresh, you don't get as much money for them. So. Other towns and other islands might pay you different, but while you still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So, yeah, if we sell there, we're not going to be able to take a portion of that and put it towards the principal of our debt. So let's see what we got. Okay, let's just sell all this fish for 157.51. There we go. Debt adjusted, negative 23.63. Okay, mayor standing outside the fishmonger store. Excellent work. I've no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you can make something out of it. Why don't you take it? So, you must take this item. It's a research part. So, let's go ahead and put it in storage. We don't need to keep that on our boat where we, you know, we want to have cargo pa capacity for, uh, for fish. Uh, pursuits. Caught the fish and returned to dock. Sold my catch. And the mayor told me to go to the shipyard to meet the shipwright. So we're going to go ahead and put that research part in our storage. should be accessible to the uh, shipwright. Uh, it doesn't have to be in our hand or in our boat or anything like that. We can keep it in storage and still get still get access to it. Okay. So let's go over here to shipwright. Now I remember her. As you walk into the yard, you see a shipwright making repairs on Damage Hall. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempted to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Well, that seems a little odd, doesn't it? Above the waterline? Take a look around. Just a reminder, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. Alright, so let's see here. We got this... Uh, this one's over 150. We don't have 150 anymore. Um, there's a portion of that went to, towards our loan. So we got a simple skimmer. And that catches shallows. Uh, this is for coastal. So that'll help us diversify what we can catch. So here we got a couple of rust, rusty outboards. We can add this and have some more power. Speed to our boat, which is good because it allows you to... You know, plus 10 knots. This is 14. So that'll basically almost double our speed. Not quite, but close. No uh, trawling nets at this point. We got some cloudy lenses we could install. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the uh, fishing rods. So yeah, let's do that. And we just gotta fit it in here. So there we go, put it over here. Two hour install time. There we go, it's midnight. And we have ourselves a new, new type of rod we can use. Um, can't afford the outboard. We need a little bit more money, so. All right. So here's the uh, ship loan repayments. Only 26.37 rep remaining, so we're more than halfway there. That was pretty easy. Wish all loans were that quick and easy. Now let's do a little research here. Now, when I was starting to replay through this to try to get back to where I was in, at the end of the last two demo episodes, this is where I realized I should probably just start fresh because I noticed this seemed different to me. So. I didn't want to like skip this and ha have to, you know have this sort of disorient you guys so all right um, so we can research different rods here volcanic mangrove coastal oh this one catches a little bit of everything that looks like a hook some sort of yeah that's a, that's an even bigger hook right there okay engines. I have a research part, so I could use that to upgrade something. But these require, like, more than one. Three, four, five, so on and so forth. Pots and nets are not unlocked at this point yet. So I can't do anything, because I need two two research parts. 
Alright, we'll get back to that a little bit later. Maybe tomorrow. We can score some more. How's my storage doing? Do I still have a research part? Yeah, I do. It's right there. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and sleep. Rest until dawn. There we go. Alright, let's head back out again. That's right, X. Okay, and we're off. Let's go see how this uh, area is doing. I'm sure it's still probably depleted. I don't think it replenished overnight, but yeah, it's low. So, I don't believe we were able to fish this one. Maybe we can now. We'll try. It's got a medium stock. Uh, are those flounder? I can't remember what those are. Yeah, flounder, okay. I think I'll do one more. Okay. We got four flounder. Good on us. Let's uh, cut through these rocks here and go explore this area. That looks like some junk or some kind. I can't get it. Yeah. That's where I need one of those hooks. Oh, here's some fish over here. Let's go see if we can get these. Now there's a uh, light that was over here at nighttime. Kind of curious about. Can't remember what it was. Let's just get one of these. Oh, it's depleted. Can I just? I'm gonna try discarding this. See what happens. Okay, that did not replenish. So, once if we accidentally deplete one, you might as well just keep what you have. All right, duly noted. This looks like a lot. I guess you could probably tell just by the sheer amount of fish they're swimming around. This looks like it's gonna be plentiful. Yeah, medium. These are gonna be some cod. Okay. Have to sort of tetris those in there. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone there. Heard some lightning. Probably not the best time to be out on the yeah, out on the water. What's this back here? We got another uh Looks like we got ourselves another message in a bottle, so let's go check that out. Our neighboring town. We'll end up over there here somewhat quickly. Alright, let's collect this item. Let's see what that one has to say. We had an accident last. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Morrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate to hull, but it just jostled us around, and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were. Which is some of, of of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from my boat re, uh, from the boat renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be such so superstitious. Little does he know that she <laughs> she kind of did him by keeping that one one item. So I think he uh, she inadvertently uh, cursed the boat somehow. All right, we got some wood here. Can't get that. And what we got here? This looks like maybe uh, some manta rays of some kind. Stingray, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, um, can I rearrange this in any way? Oh, will it fit? Not quite. I kind of want to take a stingray with me. But I don't want to sacrifice two fish at the same time either. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really fit any more on here, so I'm gonna have to let this one go. I didn't realize it was gonna be that big. Let's go and toss that one back. All right. Well, since we're here, let's offload here, and we'll go back, grab stingrays on our way back to to our town. So let's go and dock here and sell to the fishmonger here. I'm assuming there's gonna be a fishmonger. There's a trader. So we enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with it's packed with antiques. The shelves are full of jewelry and other baubles. And an old man appears at you over some spectacles. Hello. Is that no? I don't believe we met. Forgive me. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. You got anything nice with you today? Perhaps. Uh, it doesn't sound like he's into fish. So yeah, see all trinkets. So we don't have any trinkets yet. And uh, I don't think we have a storage here. So I don't want to put the fish in storage because then they'll just rot. So let's uh, let's not do that. I thought there was a place to sell the fish. There might be, and I just haven't unlocked. You know, haven't unlocked it yet. So what do we got here? Can I 
We should be able to fit in like one more fish. Uh, another flounder. We can do one more flounder. Let's go and grab one more. Oh, it's depleted now. Shoot. Okay, well. This is kind of when I, when I wish I had a little more powerful engine. Now there's uh starting to get a little trippy. There's that aura back there. Sort of emanating behind the, uh, the island. I get back there and check that out eventually. I do believe the uh, the story kind of leads you that way to begin with here uh, at the start. So I'm not going to go try to do it right now or anything like that. Let's go ahead and dock, offload our fish, do all the things that we did the the night before. I've had a special order come through for from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Uh, let's check out the order. They asked for one golf flounder and one gray eel. Well, I have a golf flounder, so we can get half of it done. You need to have a rod that can handle shallow water uh, to get that. Okay. You got any fish for that order? Yeah, I do, actually. Just leave whatever you have, and I'll uh, keep the order on ice until it's all ready to go. So we're going to put one of these over here. There we go. You can return to these items later. Okay, so done. Now back to regular business. Yep. Let's go ahead and sell all these fish. And then let's upgrade our engine, shall we? Yep. We're getting close. And buy an engine here. There we go. Now we got another outboard. Should be significantly faster. Let's go to grab our sleep. Hunched woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? Um, I guess I've come to fish. Nothing here for someone like you anymore. So a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads towards the light. Okay. Here's the mayor. Let's go talk to him. Just a person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Maro? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Put that up here. Air hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Okay. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. All right. So, let's go ahead and undock here. Let's see how much faster we are and we're gonna go right over here to tomorrow see if this is doing any better yeah we got low we could maybe grab some on the way back in keep them as fresh as possible so let's go straight across make our delivery and go from there All right, delivery, let's see. There's a small hole in the paper and peeks aside. Can't say for sure, but he feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Mm. Yeah, nice and fresh, this will do nicely. I'll pay you, I'm to pay you, I suppose. Hand you some money. All right, mm. $25. $25. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You surely get more out of it than me, or whatever he said. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. The number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin, perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Okay. Let's check out and see what this book has to say. So that's our order. Package delivery complete. All these complete. I'm not seeing anything here about, in here about books. Here we go. So I can read that. Past time to read. Okay. So we're gonna we're not gonna do that right now. We need to go fishing while we have daylight. Maybe once we get back to the dock later tonight, if we have a little bit of extra time before we go to sleep, we'll check in in on that. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah. Let's uh let's get some of this right here.
I need to go find a needle. That's what I really need to do. Yeah, I depleted it. Oh well. Let's see if we can find some eels. Check around the back of this. It doesn't look like it has many fish, but it's a little low. And it's gone. Let's check around behind Morrow here. I think this is where they had a little bit of an accident. So I'm hoping maybe I can find something about that shipwreck. Might be helpful. I'm also hoping that I can maybe bump into some eel. Here's something about... Oh, there's some sort of a sunken ship back here. What do we got here? Can't get that yet. Quite yet. Or I can't do anything about the shipwreck. So that's where we're going to be getting our building material. Oh, that looks like eel. I don't know. Those are building materials. Okay. Let's check this area. Hmm. More mackerel. Alright, let's leave that be. Looks like we're moving a bit faster. Uh, is this... Are those just random fish? Those are just random fish. What do we got here? It's like a shark. Yeah. I want the right equipment for that. Let's check this right here. Yeah. Uh, kind of want to catch it, but... Can I make room? Let's see here. If I move this... I don't think I can make room. Yeah, I don't think I have enough room. No matter how I stack these. Now right, let's head on back into town. Do a little bit of reading. See what we can figure out. No, I don't, I don't have any more for that order. Yeah. No. Telling lies. So we got $90 worth of fish. That's good. Oh, just $1.67. I just get forgiven on that part of the debt. Come on now. What do we got here? Let's see here. I want to get a new uh, light, I think, for the old boat. Get the uh, 750 lumens. That's 500. Let's go, go big or go home, right? Oh, I can't get it. It's 180. Eh, we'll wait till tomorrow. All right, let's uh, go in here, read our book. Selected as active book, past time to read. So I guess we sleep. Oh, it's 48% complete. So passing time, I've been doing it. Sort of as a, as a passive type thing. So. There we go. Alright, let's see how we're doing with our book. Alright. I guess you can't do it when you're, when you're sleeping, right? That doesn't count. Alright, let's head on back out. Let's do a little more exploring around this side of the island, I think. This looks like a huge school of fish. Can we get these? Yeah. Oh, here's our eel. Alright, we got one. Now we can fulfill the order, at least. See, this mini game's different than uh, it was in the demo. I wonder how much these eel are worth. It's low. I'm going to leave that. I'm pretty sure this requires the... And uh, I've already hit that one. Let's see what we can get here. No, nothing. Can't, can't do anything with that. Some 
materials. There's the shrine, or whatever this thing is. Completed. Okay, let's check out the shrine. Yeah, see, it, it has a cod on it. I was throwing mackerel into it. Slab of rock jets from the water bearing crude symbols of curved fish. That's my clue right there. They even changed the color of it. At its base, rough shape has been chiseled away. So I need to put a certain amount of, uh, yeah, cod up here and arrange them so they fit and fill all these blocks. Then something might happen. I don't know. So, right, how are we doing on space? Let me check here. Yeah, we could get maybe a cod, maybe a flounder, uh, something like that. We'll see. Yeah. Let's see if we can find maybe a flounder or something like that. Um, yeah, we'll go for two of these. Every little bit of money helps, right? We can get one more. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go around the back here. Hopefully by the time we get around here, nightfall will hit and we'll hit the, uh, what do we got here? That's flounder. Uh, some sort of, something sparkling over here. Did you see that? Stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes, before your eyes can focus on them. Place your hand on the stone. Let's try it. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. I guess that's... No, oh, it's still there, though. It didn't disappear. Yeah, let's see if we can find that's some... Uh, some rays. How do you get back there? Must have to... Must have to blow up the rocks or something. Clear a path somehow. Get some eels. Yeah, we got some more eels back here. Um... See, those are... I don't know what those are. Those are fish. Let's go check those out real quick. Then we'll head on into the dock here. Sustainable fishing. Yeah. I wanted to... 10% chance not to reduce fish stocks when catching fish with a rod. Oh, that's going to be nice. So, Some more eels. So this is definitely the place to go for eels. Alright, let's head on back. Well, I'm going to wait for the red aura to appear. It shouldn't take too long. Or maybe that was what it was, the, the rock. I'm just kind of killing time right here. I think that... Oh, no, it's behind there. It's back there. Let's go back there and see what it is. We might end up getting our ship damaged a little bit if we get chased. But I want to see what this is all about. Shapes in the deep. Alright. Can't do anything about that right now. Alright, let's get going. Try not to ram ourselves into any rocks. Uh-oh. See, when the light goes out, that means I'm not safe from various sea creatures. So, we're going to cut through here. I believe there is a way to cut through here. Here we go. We'll turn on our light again. And if, we get, if we get close to this, we should have a little brief reprieve here. Oh! Basic fishing pole did it damaged. <laughs> I don't remember that happening where it actually damaged specific equipment. I thought it was just in general damage your boat. But we'll get that fixed. It's gonna do some repairs. A little banged up, huh? Yeah. It happens. So we got one X. I guess uh, when you hit three X's, you're kind of out of out of service, right? Repair all. Cost us thirty, unfortunately. Let's go fishmonger. Let's go fulfill that order. There we go. So we got thirty-six from that. 
should be pleased with these. I got an order, another order here. This one's a little more curious. I want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. I don't think I've seen grouper yet. I see many people fishing uh, squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what it's, night's like around here. Okay. So. All right, let's go and sell all these. Yeah, I think we're paid off on our debt. Mayor's walking quickly towards you. It seems he's in good mood with the spring and stuff. Fantastic news, thanks partly to your efforts. Greater Morrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to explain her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger services. You might, uh, might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. Glad you've chosen uh, to be here with us. All right, cool. Let's check out this dry dock. Make significant improvements to your vessels here. Uh, extra space, yes, please. More chats for support for equipment and superior halls. We need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. How do I get these materials? Plenty of decent materials around the coast, various fi from various fish wrecks, or sh fish wrecks, shipwrecks, and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored. So don't worry if you only have half of what you need. All right. Two rod spaces, net spaces, engine spaces, one light space, new hall. All right, this is significantly uh, changed. No surprise. Yeah, I think I believe those were works works in progress. So let's head over here and um, take a look here at the pursuits. So this is our current t uh, request order request: two squid and a black grouper. Might have to go out at night for that, but first we're going to definitely. Um, Upgrade our lighting system here. There we go. So now we have a headlight at least. We're all repaired up. Which is a, that was a waste of money, but hey. Let's see here. Storage. We still got just that one item. Uh, can she actually upgrade? Check something here. Correct engine operation added. Pulls a book, a toolbox, hand it to you. A few pages are stuck together with grease. So now we got another book to read up on. Uh, I wanted to check on. Uh, she can't give me any trawling nets or anything yet. What about the dry dock? Okay. Five new cargo spaces, huh? Cost 100. So some of these cost, they all cost money, right? Yeah. Ooh, that's 500. Wow. We got some work to do. All right, let's go ahead and grab some sleep. There we go. And let's undock. I think tonight we'll probably. Here's our headlight. I think tonight we'll uh, probably head out try to get the squid if we can. And we're back to medium for these. So let's go ahead and pull some of these in. Oh, grotesque mackerel. So we got ourselves a uh, rare species. Corrupt scales and bulbous eyes. There's nothing like you've, nothing quite like you've seen before. So it's not quite as big. I'm going to leave that be. We're low there. I don't know if I want to go for these again. They're so Yeah, they're low. I don't want to deplete those. It's got here. There's a lot of fish out here. Snag some here. More mackerel. Oh, a trophy fish. All right, let's leave that be. There we go. I'm going to use this for the shrine. There's a lot here, apparently. I wonder if I switch this one around. There we go. Now we got space for another one. Uh, I don't want to overfish that area. I'm going to leave that be. Let's head over here to the shrine and offload those. 
so I don't accidentally sell them. Which is what would definitely happen if I did that. Looks like there's another dock out there. If I remember correctly, the, the shipwright ends up wanting to go out there or something. Somebody does. I end up, like, uber... Ubering them over there. Alright, let's do this right this time, right? Yeah, we'll figure it out. There's gotta be a way to do this. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Cause two, one will go there, one will go there. So I need two more, two more of those, and I think we're something will happen. Not sure what. Let's go ahead now that we have some more room here. As our low stock, let's let's head out here. There's a lot of fish out here. Might not have the right equipment for this. I don't think this is considered shallows anymore, right? Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, we can get some. Uh, great. You get something for the shrine. We need two more for the shrine, and then everything else is going to be. For, oh, wait, we depleted it? I thought it said high. Oh, well, we got what we needed for the shrine. I thought it said it had a high amount. But, uh, I'm surprised that it was depleted with just two. There we go. Waves wash, a wave washes over the fish, sweeping them away. When water recedes, you notice something has lodged against a rock. Um, what is this? A sinew spindle. Alright, operational install time, two hours. Fishing speed, plus five percent. Catch is coastal, shallow. A handline reel wrapped in a length of stretchy sinew. I kept seeing something out of the corner, corner of my eye. My dog's like running laps. Dude, that the, the puppy is running laps. It was just out of the corner of my eye. It threw me off. All right, but anyway, <laughs> sorry. A handline uh, reel wrapped in the length of stretchy sinew. One end is grafted to a crude bone hook. Oh, okay. Let's put that over here. Well, I guess we'll put it in storage. Hold on. There we go. Storage. We got it in storage now. Should. Let me double check. Show the fishmonger. Oh, the, the grotesque fish. Yeah. Okay. Encyclopedia, what else? Here it is. Alright, let's head on back. Are these eel or is this? Let's take a look here. Yeah, we got room. All right, let's leave that be. Low stock. Look like they've replenished. Ah, here we go. Squid. Oh, we got a trophy squid. I want to give that to the guy. We're going to leave that be, so we're low again. Alright, let's head on back in. Fishmonger, yes. We have fish for it. So I don't have the grouper yet. I got two squid. Okay. Good. We got some... A couple trophies and a and a unique. All right. What is today? And the, oh, so we show him the grotesque fish. Grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, shuddered breath. Stuttered breath. Ah, now this is sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. Runs his fingers uh, firmly along the length of the fish as though feeling for something. He pushes one side of its stomach and a small shape can be seen against its bulging scales. He slices the fish open, 
From his stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It is a delicately patterned handkerchief. All right. Well, I've never seen anything in, uh, well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this, uh, thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. All right, good. Good to know. So we got ourselves a handkerchief. I'll hold on to that for a while and then maybe sell it as a trinket. I don't know. And there we go. We got some more cash money. Man looks at you through the cabin, your cabin window. His face is mostly shadow. I know you took uh, what well, you took to the fishmonger. Yeah, fish. And I'll be clear. I know how he extracted an artifact. Uh, I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that I'll uh, that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Okay. Let's take a look here. Pursuit. Meet at Blackstone Isle. Take a look at our map. So Blackstone Isle's down here. That's where our demo ended in the last episode. All right, so let's see. Can I do anything with the ship right now? I think so. I think we're all pretty full up. Could get another another pole, but all that's going to do is increase fishing speed. I don't think it's that critical at this point. What what type of engine do I have here? This one's the peculiar engine is better than this uh, rusty outboard. Yeah. So we'll keep what we have there. Nothing new with the lights. Uh, how's dry dock looking? I don't think I have anything. Yeah, I don't have anything new here. My storage. I'm going to keep that with me. I can... Let's install that. I think I can pull up a... I can pull up a... You know, resources building resources and, and things like that uh, wreckage at this point all right yeah let's go ahead and get some sleep and we'll head on over there in the morning over here yeah we got some I can grab a couple fish for the road well maybe just one All right, let's head on over here. Now let's see if I can grab some of this debris. Uh, I don't have the right equipment. So apparently, apparently this is just going to help me with my fishing speed. So. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. We're going to pick up the next episode where the demo ended. And uh, now we're fully up up to date with uh you know full release of the game so i'm looking forward to continuing this adventure with you and uh i hope you're enjoying like comment subscribe y'all take care